Yo, hey folks, it's Kevin, Big K Whore here, and I'm um, doing another whore haul. Um, I got a box or a package in the mail from my good best friend, um, Tim, who lives up in Tennessee, and he sent me this package randomly. Um, he goes to the store up in uh, Tennessee called, I think, McKay's or something. They sell a lot of used stuff, and over the past year, he'll like... Um, Buy used uh, horror movie VHSs, DVDs, Blu-rays, or you know whatnot, and collect for me by surprise. And then he'll, you know, just like put it in a box, you know, in a package, and just send it to me. And um, about two weeks ago, I got a package in the mail, and uh, you know, it was in this package right here. And you know, I got a surprise, you know, and it was a big surprise. And, you know, most of these movies I do not own. Um, a couple of them I already do own on either various formats or whatnot. But um, I'll tell you what I do not, I have not owned and what I do own. But it was an awesome surprise to get, nonetheless. And so I'll show what I got now. And, um, <clears throat> all right, here we go. So, from the beginning, I guess I'll start off with the VHSs. One of the biggest, the biggest... Um, whammies of them all because you know I grew up with this movie on like late night Cinemax and USA Up All Night with like Ron Shear and Gilbert Goffrey was the trauma zombie film um, Chopper Chicks in Zombie Town on VHS I've never owned this movie I'm glad to fucking have it in my collection now I love this great A cheese movie it's fun so I have it now and I'm glad he got it for me. So, thank you. <laughs> so, um, I'll put that there. All right. Um, next up. <clears throat> now, this movie I already have on VHS. But, you know, sometimes with VHS, you never know if they may snap, um, snap, crackle, pop. So, it's always great to have another backup in case. Because I love this movie as well from, from my youth. And that's Maximum Overdrive. So, I'm glad I had this, um, you know, as a backup copy here. I don't think he knew I had that one, but nonetheless, I'm glad he got me that copy. I'm thankful for that. Now, I have this um, movie on DVD because I have the entire Rob Zombie collection on DVD, but he got me, I'm glad to have a VHS version of this, you know, just for, you know, collection purposes and whatnot, but he got me House of a Thousand Corpses on VHS, which is pretty fucking badass. All right, um, next up, and I've never seen this, and I have it on VHS now, so I'm looking forward to checking it out. And it is um, Dracula AD 1972. Um, yes, and I believe that's, you know, yeah, Christopher Lee. I'm looking forward to checking this one out. Classic. And uh, next up, you know, and I saw this a while, long time ago, and, you know, and I'm looking forward to seeing it again because I don't quite remember a lot of it, but I remember it being, you know, a bit sleazy and whatnot, and, you know, and I liked it, but, you know, it's been a long time, but um, Andy Warhol presents Dracula, Udo Kier, on VHS, so I'm looking forward to seeing this again, so I'm finally glad to have this in my collection. On VHS. All right. Now, the now the last thing I got on VHS is a recent um, production that's a documentary, and I saw it on um, VOD back when it came out. But now it's it's I have it on VHS in my collection, and I when I when it got this package, I rewatched it, and I'm, I fucking love this documentary. Um, and that is uh, the documentary about the making, the rise and fall of the VHS boom, and the rise of, you know, just the whole rise in the collection, the collectors of VHS. Um, and that is Rewind This. And this is an amazing documentary. I effing love it. And I love the detail that went into this. And the people that went into making this. So much, so much, you know, information about it. Now, I haven't seen the other one that, you know, because two of these documentaries came out in the same year. There's Rewind This, this one, and Adjust Your Tracking. I have not seen Adjust Your Tracking yet, but I want to. Okay, the DVDs I got. Now, I'm a fan of this movie. In fact, um, 
I always saw this video, this uh, this cover on the video store shelves back when I was a little kid, when I used to go rent VHSs, you know, in the Ma Pa video stores when I was a little kid, you know, in the horror section, but I never rented it, and, you know, my friend Tim, who sent me this very package, when he used to live here, and I used to hang out with him, he's the one who I finally saw this movie with, because he actually owned this movie, so when he saw this movie used, he bought it for me because when he introduced me to this movie at his house and I saw it, I was like, man, this movie is fucking bogus. It's surrealistic. It's like a, a clusterfuck. And that is the movie Gothic. And it's based on the nightmare Shelley created the story Frankenstein. Sorry for the glare and in the cover there, but I always remembered that cover. It was very weird. <laughs> But yeah, this movie is just, uh, as Julian Sands, um, uh, Gabriel Byrne, um, Timothy Spall, it's, it's, uh, if you're like into a surrealistic, nightmarish, nightmare logic, uh, just crazy, you know, atmospheric horror, you've got to check this 80s film out, Gothic. It is a must-see. But I finally have it on DVD, and I love this film. Great film. Okay, um, another DVD I got, and you know, and this is kind of a, a bit of conjecture here, because there's a lot of people who like it, or there are people who like it, and there are a lot of people who hate it. Um, now, I'm going to go, um, just first let me say it, um, I prefer the documentary series myself. Uh, it's based on um, Paradise Lost 1, 2, and 3, um, but as this is a dramatization a uh, Hollywood adaption film based on those on the West Memphis Three, you know the real true life, um, uh, true crime about you know um, the West Memphis Three. Um, oh my God, why can I think of the names? I know I know everything about this. Um, <clears throat> um, um, oh, oh my God, I, I, I'm embarrassed. I can't even think of their names right now. But you know, uh, the West, West Memphis Three, which is you know the three kid, the three goth kids who got wrongfully accused for murdering the three little boys out in the woods back in the '90s, and they got convicted and sent to prison. You know, on lack of really lack of evidence, really, um, when there's a lot of other evidence of other people out there. And uh, just because they were weird, they're into, you know, heavy metal, and they wore black, and, you know, blah, 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 and there are rumors of Satanism, and, you know, oh, Damien Eccles, Damien Eccles, that was his name. He was the head leader of the group that got um, convicted, but, you know, finally they got released from prison, you know, some years ago. Um, but anyway, there was a dramatization of the film uh, from Hollywood starring Reese Witherspoon and Colin Firth, and that movie is called Devil's Knot, based on... Um, someone, you know, uh, based on, uh, the, um, I forgot who wrote the book, but someone who worked on the case during the, during the whole court proceedings and stuff. And this is the movie dramatization of it. And I actually enjoyed it. I mean, I thought it was, I thought it was a, you know, a pretty well done movie, you know, and it's done by a really well done respected director. I mean, it's not, you know, anything, you know, it's not as great as actual documentaries, you know, per se, but... With that said, I liked it as a film itself. I liked it. Um, you know, I thought it was a pretty well done film. Um, you know, because I actually watched those documentaries. I mean, the day they were, you know, aired on HBO, the day they aired back in the 90s as they aired. Part one, part two, and then part three in the 2000s and whatnot. So it was weird just, you know, watching this and then remembering in my youth watching them. So, and watching these characters portrayed, you know, as those characters from, you know, West Memphis and whatnot. So it was really weird, but it was, it was really interesting at the same time. So I had to watch this movie. It was kind of like I had to, but I'm glad I own this movie now. So anyway, so I have this movie in my collection now. So anyway... And the last two bits are this. Um, he got me two Blu-rays. Um, uh, one of the Blu-rays I use, uh, I have on VHS, but I never got on DVD. But um, out of the whole '90s, late '90s era of horror films, um, you know the Kevin Williamson, you know, trend of screen film after the whole, you know, post screen films, and it's actually one of my favorites out of the post screen teen screen thing. Um, 
because it's one of the funner, the one of the fun ones, you know. And I, I just, I actually love this movie. I can watch it over and over and over because it's just, so, it's just, it, it homages so many of the um, fifty era, the fifties era, seventies era B movie, sci fi movies. That, I mean, I just love, you know, everything from, you know. Invasion of the Body Snatchers and The Thing and, you know, Night of the Creeps and everything. And that is the faculty. So I'm fucking glad to have this on Blu-ray. So I love this movie. It is a blast from front to back. So, yeah, he got me this on Blu-ray. And the last Blu-ray he got is, okay... This movie, I'm a fan of shot on video horror or shot on, you know, 8mm horror, you know, all that, you know, the cheap shot on video horror, you know, subgenre, you know. And there's this filmmaker here in Florida, where I live in Florida, called Tim Ritter. And, you know, um, if you're a fan of shot on video horror, you're probably familiar with his films, you know, from the video store era. He uh, kind of made his fame, you know, his shoot to fame from making a film called Truth or Dare. Um, and Killing Spree, and um, um, uh, various other films. But his very first film he made, now, it's a point of conjecture to say is if it's a good film or not. That's, but that's besides the point. It's a slasher film he made at the age of 17. Okay? Shot on silent, um, I think 8mm, if I'm, or I believe it was 8mm or, or whatnot. And, um, and all the voices and sound was dubbed over. Um, and it's a Sasha film, and, you know, pretty gory and whatnot, but it doesn't matter if it was good or not, you know. Um, he was just a passionate horror film fan at the age of 17, 18 years old, a junior in a senior high school, and he went out to make a horror film. And he actually made it, produced it, and had someone make a awesome synthesizer score for it. And this was like in 1983... And it got put out in 1984. And he had it um, distributed throughout all the Ma and Pa video stores, rental chains throughout Florida. And it got a name for itself. And that movie is called Day of the Reaper. And it just came out on Blu-ray. And I think only 100 units were pressed. So this is a very limited movie to have. And I got a copy of this. So thank you so very much, Tim. But yeah, this is Day of the Reaper. And it's a very fun film. I mean, you know, it's got its flaws, whatever, but I don't care. I love this movie. And I have the VHS of this, too. A friend had sent me some time back ago. Um, but this movie is very fun. It's a love letter to slasher films and, like, uh, films of, like, H, you know, Herschel Gordon Lewis. Um, it's a splatter film, that kind of, that kind of thing. But, you know, it makes great usage of, of the Florida scenery. You know, it uses the highways, the, the forests, the beaches, the subdivisions, all that kind of stuff. And, um, and a pretty cool killer, too. Um, and really cool shots and whatnot. I mean, just, you know, what, you know, what he lacked in budget and all that kind of thing he used in passion blood, sweat, and tears, and it shows. So it's it's a respect I have for what I have in that film, Day of the Reaper. So I'm just glad I have this this limited released um, Blu-ray. And there are probably still copies left over, but you have to get this through um, Sub Rosa Cinema, um, their, their um, homepage, .com, Sub Rosa Cinema .com or whatever, Sub Rosa .com, I, I think. Um, that's where you can get it. And I think they have the VHS's uh, um, remastered and the Blu-ray and DVD. But I think it's only like 100 copy copies each. And then when they're gone, they're gone. But anyhow, so that's the package he sent me. And, you know, it's just a random package. And he accumulated all this over the past year or whatever. And he just sent it to me. So I was all like, hell yeah, that was an awesome package he sent me. So thank you, Tim. Anyway, so that is a whore haul. Um, a recent one for me. So, anyway, peace out, folks. Um, catch y'all later.